family. Do you remember what is that? How many of you remember the word we learned in the last class? Just raise your hands. Very good. What is the word? What was the word we learned in the last class? It is hillbilly. What is meant by hillbilly? Old fashioned, old type of person or idea. Old fashioned people from countryside. That is what called hillbilly, right? Okay. In this class, we are going to learn another vocabulary as the word for the day that is zest. What is the spelling for this word? Spell the word zest. Z-E-S-T. Zest. Once again. Z-E-S-T. Zest. Repeat the word. Zest. Once again. Zest. What is the spelling for this word? Z E S T. E-S-T. And what is the pronunciation for this word? Zest. Once again, zest. Very good. What is the meaning of this word zest? It is enjoyment, interest and energy. Enjoyment, joyfulness, happiness, enthusiasm. Are you all feeling happy today? Okay, then you are in a zestful mood. Right? Okay. So what is meant by zest? It means happiness, enjoyment, full of energy, enthusiasm. That is what called zest. Now you are all in zest, right? Because you are going to learn English. So you should be happy, right? Okay ma'am, very good. So, what is the word for the day today? Zest. Z-E-S-T. Spell the word zest. Z-E-S-T. What is the meaning of this word? Enjoyment. Full of energy and interest. For example, Zia is a zestful little girl. Zia is a Zestful little girl. She is a girl with full of energy, interest, enjoyment, happiness, enthusiasm. That is what called zest. Zia is a zestful little girl. She is a girl with full of happiness, enjoyment. Okay? Are you all proud with this word? With this new vocabulary? What is the new vocabulary we learnt today? Zest. Very good. Students, in the last class, I told you to read your literature reader book. And the first story, what is the title of the first story you read in the last class? It is Humpty Dumpty. I hope you all tried to write the book back exercises. Which are there in page number 12. Am I right? Did you all complete the exercise students? Very well, good. In this class, we are going to read another interesting poem. Okay. In the last class, we have read a short story. In this class, we are going to read a poem. What is meant by poetry? Do you all love poetry? Okay. Take page number 13 in your literature reader book. In your literature reader book, take page number 13. Read the title of the poetry. The Elf and the Dormouse. It's not Dormouse, it's Dormouse. Spell the word Dormouse. D O R M O U S E. It is not dormouse, 
it is dormouse dormouse okay what is the title of this poetry the elf and the dormouse this poetry this poem was written by oliver herford who is the poet oliver herford oliver herford what is the title of this poem the elf and the dormouse once again the elf and the dormouse have you all seen elf they were all small tiny men tiny people they can fly like butterflies they will work with santa have you all seen elf okay what is meant by dormouse dormouse is a kind of mouse have you all seen mouse mice okay so dormouse is a kind of mouse it's a kind of rat its feathers has furry hair okay it's a kind of mouse we all have seen elves in cartoons they can fly they can do all the works they have so many magical powers am i right they will work with santa claus have you all seen santa claus in cartoons okay so this poem is all about the elf and the dormouse one day it was heavy rain then this elf finds a toadstool toadstool it's it means it's like a mushroom have you all seen mushroom okay it's like a wild mushroom plant so this elf went under the toadstool under this a kind of mushroom plant to find shelter why because it's heavy rain then he slept there behind this elf there was a dormouse who was already sleeping under the toadstool then this elf felt shocked he was afraid of looking at this dormouse but he cannot go out of this toadstool why because it's heavy rain so do you know what he did he takes away the toadstool and keep it on his shoulder and move away from the place this is what they in this poem the elf and the dormouse are you all ready to read this poetry shall we all read it together okay take page number 13 shall we okay the elf and the dormouse under a toadstool crept a wee elf out of the rain to shelter himself under the toadstool sound asleep sat a big dormouse all in a heap trembled the wee elf frightened and it fearing to fly away lest he get wet to the next shelter maybe a mile sudden the wee elf smiled a wee smile tap till the toadstool toppled in two holding it o'er him gaily he flew soon he was safe home dry as could be soon woke the dormouse good gracious me where's my toadstool loud he lamented and that's how umbrellas first wave inventor this poem is telling how umbrellas were invented who takes away the toadstool the wee elf and thus umbrellas were invented do you all love this poetry students will you all read it again keep a dictionary with you to find the meanings of the words which you feel difficulty to read and understand
Okay. Now do you all have a dictionary with you? Take your pencil. Take your dictionary. Take your textbook. And start to read this poem. Okay. And try to do the textbook exercises. Which are there in page number 14 and 15. Is that clear students? Dormouse. Under a toadstool crept a wee elf out of the rain to shelter himself. Under the toadstool, sound asleep, sat a big dormouse, all in a heap. Trembled the wee elf, frightened and yet, fearing to fly away, lest he get wet. To the next shelter, maybe a mile, sudden the wee elf smiled a wee smile. Tugged till the toadstool toppled in two, holding it over him, daily he flew. Soon he was safe home, dry as could be. Soon woke the dormouse. Good gracious me! Where is my toadstool? Loud he lamented. And that's how umbrellas first were invented. Children, what are the new words we learned today? Toadstool A wild plant like a mushroom with a round flat and curved roof. Dormouse, a small mouse with a furry tail. List, to prevent something from happening. Gaily, in a cheerful way. Gracious, polite and generous. Lamented, Great sadness or disappointment. Students, did you all read the poem again? I hope you all love this poetry. Now, shall I ask you some questions? Okay, tell me what is the title of this poem? Very good, the elf and the dormouse. Who is the poet? Oliver. Hereford. Who is the poet? Oliver Hereford. Now, do you understand the story behind this poetry? Now, do you know how umbrellas were invented? Who takes away the umbrella I mean? Who takes away the toadstool from its place? The VL. VL takes away, he toppled the toadstool into two and he takes away this toadstool with him. Then, who was crying there? The dormouse was crying. Why? Because this VL takes away his shelter. If somebody takes away your home, will you cry? Similarly, this dormouse was also crying. Because this elf takes away his shelter. It looks like an umbrella, right? And that's how umbrellas were invented. Are you all clear with this point? Very good students. Now, do you remember what is the new word we learned today? What is the new word? Very good. This. Zest means enjoyment, full of energy and interest. Are you all feeling happy? What is the other word for enjoyment, happiness, enthusiasm? It is zest. Will you all use this new vocabulary while talking with your friends? Very good students. So, I hope you all enjoyed our today's class. See you all in the next class, students. Until